Hi, this is Rick Levine for Tarot.com, here today to talk with you about the full moon in Pisces on September 6th. And this actually occurs on the west coast of the United States, 12.02 a.m. That means just two minutes after midnight, so you can think of it really as late on the night of September 5th, even though technically it's on September 6th. So this full moon, like all full moons, represents a culmination in a cycle. The cycle that we are culminating actually began with a total eclipse of the sun two weeks ago that shook up everything. How are we going to take that energy and begin to integrate it? And today's full moon in Pisces is conjunct Neptune. Let's break it down. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. All the experiences of the first 11 signs end up in the refuse collector Pisces, where it becomes the primordial ocean that contains everything. Whether we talk about the great oceans on Earth, or we talk about the ocean of consciousness, everything comes out of the primordial soup, becomes individualized as rocks or trees or mountains or planets or people or whatever, and eventually becomes disintegrated and melts back into the primordial soup. A full moon in Pisces is the imagination without any boundaries. Now, the full moon in Pisces is opposite the sun in Virgo, and Virgo is the most exacting, the most precise. It's the laser beam of the zodiac that, that eliminates everything except for what's exactly on target. So we have the full moon in Pisces basically accepting everything, um, bringing everything into the picture in dreams, imagination, fantasy. It doesn't matter whether it's useful, whether it's real or fake news. It doesn't matter. The full moon in Pisces pulls it all in. But Neptune is the planet related to Pisces, and Neptune now is in the sign of Pisces, but this full moon in Pisces is exactly lined up with Neptune in Pisces, which basically adds even more dreams, imagination. It's impossible to know what's real. Give it up. It doesn't matter. This is about whatever you imagine, whatever you dream, whatever you think, that is what's going to be real. So what do you do with this? You be careful about what it is you dream. You be careful about what you imagine because imagination is actually laying the tracks, building the roads for reality to follow later on. One other thing of importance on this full moon in Pisces that is lined up with the nebulous planet Neptune is the fact also that Mercury and Mars, Mercury at the very end of Leo, Mars at the very beginning of Virgo, both of these planets are harmonized or trying with Uranus. Uranus, the wild, crazy planet. Uranus was very active a couple of weeks ago at the new moon eclipse. And so we still have this this energy that things are in movement and we don't know exactly where it's going. We can't tell and it doesn't matter. So use the energy of this full moon by imagining things the way you would like it to be in your life. You are the architect of your future. For Tarot.com, I'm Rick Levine.